Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Yuri Herrera's novella Signs Preceding the End of the World. This is the story of a young Mexican girl who gets sent by her mother to America to give a message to her brother. And that's the basics. But what's more interesting about this novella is how it is written. It's very intriguing. There are many, many things in it. It's very dense and beautiful. The translator, Lisa Dillman, adds a note at the end explaining how difficult it was to translate and how and the goal she wanted to achieve with that, with her translation. She also adds some interpretation on the themes, the many themes that are in this novel. And I like that because it had me notice other things that I hadn't picked up on before. So what I really liked going into the novel was how it was written. It was very intriguing and it pulls you in and it gives you a perspective and idea of how the girl sees Mexico and her village and her life and her position in life. And also a look at like how she thinks of the role of men and women and it's very interesting to see that. Then when she goes to America we also see her thoughts on like how leaving the country is difficult and how it changes the perception especially once people are in America and have started a life there and how it changes them and what goes through their mind and also how they are perceived in the perception and how other people look at them and I thought this was all very interesting for a very short novella. It's not even a hundred pages, I think. And I was super intrigued into the story. I liked the young girl and how strong she was. She was a very good main character, very independent and in charge. And I really liked that. Also that it was all so dense and packed with everything because there was no waste, like no time was wasted and no words were wasted. Everything had something to say. So I can fully recommend this to everyone. And if you have already read it, tell me in comments and let's just talk about this little novella. Bye-bye.